Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video discussing the Animal Crossing New Horizons Villagers. In my previous video that I will have in the cards, I discussed the villagers with names starting from A to I and now we're going to move on to letter J and beyond. Um, but before we get into it, let me know what your opinions are on the villagers from this video and let me know if I'm talking about any of your favorite villagers. If so, how do your opinions differ from mine? And also let me know who you have in your island because I love, you know, learning about people's islands and the different dynamics of the villager types that they have. It's really interesting. So Jacob looks like he still lives with his parents and that he's the kind of kid that when he was younger said he wanted to marry his mom. He has a mama's boy look to him. And uh you know me, you know, mama's boys are not my favorite type of people. I would be nice to him if I saw him, I guess. Jacques is one of those villagers that, honestly, he's not that bad. I love his feathers, like the color of his feathers, that indigo color, it's my favorite color. He looks like a floater who just floats through his life and doesn't really make that much of an effort. I like his goatee. He looks like he, you know, plays hacky sack. Jambet. <laughs> Jambet looks like she got a bunch of lip fillers in just to have an OnlyFans account or something like that. And honey, it's not working for you. You know, don't quit your day job. Jay is adorable. I love the primary red and blue colors that he has. This perpetual surprise look in his face makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But maybe it's just like he got his eyebrows microbladed or something, or tattooed on, and they're perpetually like that, so. Jeremiah is another one of the frogs that I have near and dear to my heart. I had him on my island. Dora was the first one to leave with the whole campsite method, like somebody replaced her, but he was the first one to leave just asking. And it was during Renegade. Gate. Um, my previous video kind of talked about that. I didn't want him to leave, but Octavian came in his place. So, you know, I guess that's a benefit. Plus he's lazy and I already had Cranston as a lazy villager. But I don't know, man. If I could have him back on my island, I would. He's so cute. And the whole Jeremiah was a bullfrog thing. I think that's very clever. I love him. Right before he left, too, um, him and Apple were throwing a concert in the plaza, singing a very emotional song. Jitters is definitely coked up, like a hundred percent. And I feel bad, you know, like, can anyone help him take him to an NA meeting or to rehab? Joey is wearing a freaking diaper. That is so adorable. He, he again, he's part of the Thick Eyebrow Coalition in Animal Crossing. I would like to have him on my island for a little bit, you know, maybe um, I could you know, go to like him a little bit more too. But you know, he's one of those that I admire from afar. Judy, besides Raymond, literally they like broke the Animal Crossing fandom. You got a dollar? It's she's new to New Horizons. And I guess that's one of the reasons why she's so hyped up. But also like she has the whole ombre, like cotton candy color look to her. She has the anime eyes. She has a little dress. Would I want her on my island? Sure, you know, she's snooty. I love the snooty villagers. I feel like they're very um, caring. I feel like the snooty villagers are a little bit more sisterly than the Uchi sisterly villagers. They can be a little bit patronizing, but that's a whole different rant for a whole different day. Is she worth the hype? Yeah, I guess so. In terms of looks, because, you know, it's like never before seen kind of thing. Julia. I had her in my campsite. I, you know, wanted to get her to replace somebody. I don't remember exactly who it was. She just wouldn't move in. She would always want to move in or like switch with the wrong person and I just eventually gave up. The, the thing is, Julia is a female, but she has a peacock colors instead of like a peahen. A lot of people are speculating 
that this must mean that she is trans, which if so, that's great for inclusivity and all that, but I mean, I don't think the Animal Crossing team put all that thought into it, but if so, that, that's, that's really good. Julian. <laughs> He's a unicorn. He wears purple eyeshadow. I know a YouTuber named Joshua David King has him on his island and he's always doing weird things with him and like his catchphrase that he gave him is I'm a little gay. I would only get him on my island to sell him, but I feel like we would vibe for a couple of days, you know? June is adorable. She almost looks like a human. Like she has that tropical vibe to her. She looks like she's from a, an island. She got the Mo Moana vibes. I feel like she's a bit boring. Kabuki. I'm not gonna lie, he is scary. It's cool because he was named after Japanese Kabuki, which to my knowledge is like, was it like a musical? It's like a dance play musical kind of thing and you know they paint their faces like he is um i think that's pretty cool cat makes a lot of people uncomfortable i guess it's maybe you know the teeth a lot of people say she's a vampire or something i like the aqua color on the inside of her ears i think her little stripes and white hands and and feet are cute keaton looks like he's wearing eyeliner He's kind of cute. Ken, I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty cool looking. Um, he has a whole ninja outfit on and then he has the blue by his eyes that kind of look like a mask. I like his little cheeks. They give him blush. Oh my god, ketchup deserves more hype. I would like to have her on my island. She's a dreamy. I wouldn't want her to replace Apple. Like that's my only hesitation with her. Is because I already have Apple and Mary that are both peppy villagers. If Ketchup were there, I feel like there would be too many peppy villagers and the, their dialogue will get a little repetitive. I don't know, man. She's adorable. One of my favorite Animal Crossing related channels, Mad Morph, he has her on his island. And it's like his Animal Crossing girlfriend. Definitely check out his videos with her. Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Kevin. Kevin is one of those villagers that almost looks human, I guess, with the freckles. Kevin is obviously a pig. Um, he honestly isn't that bad. Some of the pigs are really weird looking. He just looks like a normal pig. Kid Cat is a dreamy. I love him. He's one of my favorite cats. He's part of the whole superhero gang kind of thing. He's a jock. I like the jock villagers. Wouldn't mind having another jock on my island. So Kid Cat, if you're watching this, just hit me up. It could have been a little bit more creative with his name though, because Kid, I think that the pun of his name, being a young goat, is pretty clever. I like his periwinkle coloring and his little bangs. Kind of looks like he's going through his scene phase right now or recovering from it. I don't have anything bad to say about him. Kiki. I used to have a cat named Kiki. Um, she was my first pet. So I guess I have like this personal connection to this Kiki. She's a black cat and my cat that I have now is black. I, I love her. The only thing that, that makes me feel little, that's a little offish about her is the nose. But other than that, like her little striped tail and her magenta ear thing inside her ears. She's so cute. And also, her eye color is the same color as my cat's eye color, so. Both Kit and her baby need to go to sleep. Their dark circles are insane. Like, are you okay? Blink twice if you need help. Kitty? I like Kitty, but something about her seems a little off. She kind of looks like she would be a villain in Courage the Cowardly Dog or something like that. She has some, like, I, I kind of can't trust her, but I also like her eyeshadow, so maybe I can. The tip of her tail is white, and the tip of her, her paws are also white, and I'm a sucker for that. Now this one hurts. Claws.
he asked to move from our island like three times. The first two times I was like, no, because he grew on me so much. I know there's a whole camp of people who hate him and think he's a creep because his house is modeled after like a, a bathhouse. He doesn't prey on me and he hasn't. He hasn't preyed on any of my villagers. He was like my best friend, honestly. He's my hype man. I love his, his coloring, his little hair, his cheeks, his shoes that he's wearing. I wish that we could have over 10 villagers so I could have it on my island. Because I miss him. He was deep. He used to always talk to me about the greater things in life, the deeper things in life. And our relationship was, wasn't just a shallow, small talk relationship. I love him. Knox is one cool chicken. I love his whole medieval getup. All I know is if there was a war that broke out in Animal Crossing, I would want him on my team. Cody. Yeah, I can't trust him. Now, Kyle. He is a wolf villager, but his design, his pattern, I guess reflects like a wild dog or a hyena or something like that. Um, I think that's really cool. I love him. He came to my campsite and I tried to get him to replace Renee and like I've mentioned multiple times, but it wasn't working. So I had to pass up on him. Hopefully I can see him again one day. The only thing is, I don't like the outfit that they gave him now, the default outfit with the vest and the necklace. It makes him look like he's like a milady kind of guy and wears a fedora. I miss his little leather jacket vest thing that he used to wear. But his room is really cool. He has kind of like a recording studio slash music video room. I would like to have him, especially because at this time, I don't have any smug villagers. Leonardo is a leopard. You know, his species is supposed to be a tiger. Obviously, his design is leopard. He's plain and I don't know. Leopold is a, another smug villager that I would like to have on my island. I think he's cute, honestly. He looks like he's a college professor or something like that, or a librarian. And no, it's not just because of, he wears glasses, okay? I just think he's adorable, and there should be female lions, like lionesses. I don't know why there aren't, you know, it's not that hard just make them the same design without the manes. Lily is adorable. She's a normal villager that I would like to have on my island. I already have Marina, so I don't know if I would like to have duplicate normal villagers because they are boring. But I don't. I think I'll let it slide for her. She's so cute. Her little eyelash, sh eyelashes or eyelash is just one. I love her cheeks and her mint aqua coloring. I don't want to even say his name for the chance. That it could summon him. So let's just say that I think he should be included on some sort of public list. What list that is, I'll leave it up to you to, for your speculation. Lionel doesn't deserve as much of the hate that he gets, but he still deserves a little bit of it. You know, maybe a, a dislike. Lobo is a handsome wolf, I gotta say. No, I'm not a furry, so don't take that as a weird thing. I like his indigo bluish coloring again that's my favorite color i already have three cranky villagers on my island octavian hopper and peewee i wouldn't necessarily like him to come by maybe i could meet him you know on an island and or a campsite just talk to him for a bit i want lolly on my island she is a dreamy and yes i know she's probably everybody else's dreamy just like I said with Lily, with her, she's like a normal villager that I would, you know, take regardless of them being boring and regardless of me already having Marina. She's adorable. She is a cat, first of all, which already gives her so many points in my book. But the fact that she has little stripes, her name is Lolly. She has that little squiggly mouth, kind of like Flurry does. Like her bluish gray is almost like a realistic cat. I want, even if it's just to be in her presence for a little bit, to see her on, in the campsite or on an island or on somebody else's island, like, I, I would be so happy. She is a princess and I love her. Lopez is pretty cool, honestly. He, I feel like he looks scary but has like a good heart. And I like the pun of his name, him being an antelope and his name being Lopez. Louis, I guess, is made to look like Donkey Kong. 
And that's like the only cool thing about him. Who thought that Lucha would be a good idea? I mean, it's cool that he's like a luchador and he has the mask and things like that, but I feel like it could have been executed a little bit better. I don't know. He, I wouldn't want to be near him. That's all I'm saying. Lucky is another theme villager that I can get behind. I don't know if he's supposed to be a mummy or just be look like he got hurt, which is kind of mean. Like, why would you want his whole thing about him to be like that he got hurt? I mean, on Wikipedia it says that his name could be Lucky because, like, he got hurt and he's lucky because he survived because he has full body bandages everywhere. I just wish that his eye would have been different because it kind of does make him have that whole undead thing about him. I wouldn't mind having him on my island, but I'm not going to hunt for him like other people are. Lucy definitely gives me Veruca Salt vibes. Lyman is adorable. I did not know until recently that his whole thing is that he's a lime, lime, and he's a jock, which is funny because koalas aren't the most active animals. Mac is pretty cool. He looks like a dog, which makes sense because he is a dog, but you know, he has a more realistic design and I can appreciate it. Maddie is another realistic dog. I think she's really cute. She's peppy. Um, I would have thought she would have been a normal villager. Mayel, I guess that's how you pronounce her name. I'm not gonna try too hard. But she looks like she's an art student at a liberal kitchen. arts school. And me having graduated from a four year liberal arts school, I can attest to this. Maggie is so cute. Um, her mouth is a little big, which makes me a little tiny bit uncomfortable, but I try not to look at her too long. Mallory definitely wears combat boots every single day, but like off-brand ones, like not Doc Martens. Maple is making me bite my tongue about all that I say about uh, normal villagers. To be fair, I have been saying a lot of positive things about normal villagers, but being like, oh, but I don't like them anyway. Well, Maple is adorable. She is also a dreamy. But she's one of those that I would only want to have my island temporarily just to experience the fullness of her beauty. <sighs> if you say Marcel's name in the mirror three times in the dark, he will appear. I've seen Marcy on my island hopping adventures. Honestly, isn't that bad considering the other kangaroos. Her lip gloss be cool and her lip gloss be popping, I guess. Margie. Now, Margie is a star. She was in the movie, the anime for Animal Crossing. She wanted to be a world famous fashion designer. She's adorable. She was my first campsite villager when I was trying to get rid of Renee. And I fought for her, but maybe she's not on my island for a reason. I love her pattern and like how it's on her legs and her arms, almost like bracelets and anklets and how it's on her tail too. I love her eyeliner. Marina, I'm very conflicted about her. Why, you might be asking. Don't you have her on your island? Aren't you always saying that she's one of the best normal villagers? Yes. Those are all true. Um, she's adorable. She's one of the only octopi. Um, she's caught in a love triangle between Zucker and Octavian, I guess. Um, I love her bangs and her, her eyeliner and her cheeks and her dreamy sweater that she wears. But I don't know. I do not know. She... I want to love her so badly. She has everything. She's adorable. She's always singing. so cute in all the random outfits I give to her. I'm not gonna say I bully my villagers, but I always give them random stuff that I know is gonna look ridiculous. She always pulls it off and looks adorable, but in my head, you know, I'm thinking, if I have to kick out a villager for somebody else, who do I have less of a connection with? And my mind always goes to her. I 
I mean, now I have Ursula, and I thought she was really cute, but then I just don't get on with her. I don't get along with the Uji villagers. But even then, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a lot of thinking. I wouldn't kick her out, but I know that if I had to, I would be compensated very abundantly for her moving out. So Marshall is head to head with Raymond in the most popular villager lists and things like that. I can see why. I think if we just look at cuteness alone, Marshall is cuter than Raymond. I really want him on my island too. Again, I don't have a smug villager, so hopefully with the whole campsite method thing, he'll fill in that gap and kick out somebody, hopefully Ursula. I love him. His side eye and his bangs and the fact that he looks like a marshmallow. And I love his phrase, sulky. But I'm always sulking around. I saw Matilda on that island hunt and I didn't even talk to her, I just ran away. I feel like that's enough to describe how I feel about her. Megan is another new villager. I saw her on an island. Oh, I think it was one of my first times island hopping. And I didn't know who she was. I was like, I've never heard of about you before. I think she's really cute. I I kind of regret not inviting her to my island to be fair. I also saw Melba on an island hunt. Not cute enough for me to want her on my island. I feel bad, you know. I don't want to hurt her feelings. But it is what it is, honey. Harangue is a villager that I'm glad everyone's hyped up about. She seems like such a sweetheart. She's one of my favorites for the longest. I would like to have her on my island, you know? I wouldn't mind having two normal villagers again for her. I love Mary. I bought her because I searched for her for a while. Okay, to be fair, it's like 30 Nook Mile tickets, but ever since I can remember, she's been my favorite cat. And I hadn't even realized that she has a freaking double chin. And in her poster, she tries to hide it. She goes like this. Is that not me? Is that not most of us? Her little bangs and her freaking teeth. When she talks, they stick out like, I would love to have Mary in real life as a real cat. I don't have the same love that I have for Apple for her, but I have her and she makes me happy and she's really cute. great. I would love to be friends with her. I wouldn't want her on my island, but I love her dark magenta color and her little swirly cheeks. I'm a big fan of orange blush lately, so. Mint. The only gripe I have is that they could have been a little bit more creative with her name. You know, I look at her and I get a little hungry. It's kind of bad considering I don't eat animals. But mint chocolate chip is my favorite ice cream flavor. And I love her house. I wouldn't mind having her on my island, honestly. I wouldn't go searching for her. But if she came up in my campsite, I'm down. I saw Mira on an island. And she is in my pocket camp camp. Maybe I would have her on my island. You know, I keep trying with the sisterly villagers. I tried with Rin I know it will be the same dialogue, but maybe Mira would redeem them for me, I hope. She is a superhero, but she's not like the other ones. I feel like they're more like athletes or like daredevil kind of stuff, and she's more of like a proper superhero. Miranda looks like a compulsive liar who always gets you in trouble. Mitzi is one of my favorite cats. I saw her on an island, and I had to really think, should I get her? Well, I regret it if I get her, not someone else. And I ended up just going to buy Mary because I feel bad because I don't like I don't like pitting up strong, beautiful women against each other. But I like Mary more. Hopefully, some magical, miraculous thing will happen and she'll come to my campsite, or Ursula will move out and I can find her on an island again. 
that would be sick. As cute as Mo is, I wouldn't want him on my island, which is kind of really ugh, makes me feel bad saying that because he's a cat villager. But he, I think his design is a little over exaggerated. And plus, Mitzi and Tom are already blue cats. So I feel like they could have just made his coloring a different color. I just feel like he isn't necessarily needed. I like his teeth though. Molly is one of the cutest villagers ever. I even saw in a list that she was top cutest villager. And again, she's like one of the, the normal villagers that has a plain design, but it totally works for her. I love how her wings fade into white and her little cheeks are adorable. I know I say that there are no bad cats, But Monique, do you have to ruin it for everybody else? Monty definitely hot boxes every weekend. Why do you do this to me? Why are you bullying me? I don't think Ma is a very necessary character. Muffy is me. I am Muffy. Um, I love her design. She is another sisterly villager that could redeem them for me. She seems like she has a good heart, and I love her room design. Murphy is adorable. I love his darker green spots. He is a cranky villager, and I already have too many of those. Nan is really cute. Apparently, nanny is a word for a female goat. That's what Nookopedia told me, so nothing to write home about. Nana is one of my favorite monkeys, if not my favorite monkey. She's so cute. I wouldn't necessarily, you know, add her to my island unless there's more than 10 slots. Come on, Nintendo, get on it! Naomi is the stuff of nightmares. Get away while you can. Nate is adorable. He's a- he looks like a gentle giant, especially because he's lazy. His eyebrow leaf booger thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Otherwise, he's so cute. Nipples is a squirrel that I could do without. She just looks like she would watch me while I sleep through my window. Nora is a cute cow. The only thing I don't really vibe with is her eyes. Her eyes also kind of look like bugs, and I'm not a fan of bugs, so no thanks. O'Hare is a cool guy. My cousin has him on her island. He's cool. I love his hat and his Hawaiian type shirt. Octavian! I love him. I love Octavian. I don't care what anybody says about him looking angry the whole time, about him being cranky. He is amazing. He is a sweetheart. Okay? You gotta get to know him. And you'll know that he's a sweetheart. Octavian Marino has something going on. And it's really funny considering the fact that, you know, they're both octopi and it's like the same thing with Hopper and Gwen and Apple and Hamlet. It's not like I did it on purpose, but it's like somehow they know, like, oh, we're the same species, let's link up. I'm not gonna front, okay? He has the coolest house in the whole game. I love his really swishy cheeks. It's like this the whole time. There's something about the octopus villagers, like the way that they just walk along. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference. Olaf! I don't know if it's he's meant to look like Michael Jackson or just supposed to look like a matador. Um, if that's the case, then I'm not for bullfighting, so Olaf, you're canceled. Olive is plain. She's cute. Her phrase is sweet pea, which is cute and was my go-to fragrance to wear in middle school from Bath & Body Works. I wouldn't fight for her. Olivia reminds me of him from the Powerpuff Girls. I like her coloring. Maybe she's supposed to be like a Siamese cat. She doesn't have a nose, so no one knows if she has any secrets. Opal is pretty cool. Her bangs kind of look weird because they're just there. It's like she has a toupee. I like her coy smile. Ozzy is adorable. I think he might be my favorite design, and not necessarily my favorite 
koala villager but my favorite koala design. I guess it's because he looks the most like a normal koala. His birthday is May 7th, that's pretty close to mine. Pancetti or Panchetti because she's named after Pancetta. That's a very morbid name considering Pancetta's like bacon. Her white lipstick is a mistake. I like her blush. That's about it. Pango is another unnecessary villager. I guess they needed more peppy ant eaters, but her colors clash. If her green was less of like a seafoam green, more of like a, a minty, more muted, lighter green, then it would match more with her like royal blue, like outer color. The way that her color is right now, it's not really doing it for me. Paolo is definitely not what dreams are made of. I mean, oh, oh, oh. I like that Poppy is an Okapi. I used to love Okapis when he's playing Z Tycoon. I would always have a have an Okapi exhibit. But the fact that his name is Poppy kind of makes me uncomfortable. Pashmina is beautiful. She just took a DNA test and it turns out that she's 100% that goat. Pate has a worrying expression on her face, but I mean, if I were named after a dish that consisted of my liver or organs being smushed up and ground up, I would have that face too. Patty is a realistic looking cow. She's pretty plain, but it works for her. Patty is my birthday twin, so I guess I like her. I wouldn't want her on my island though, but I can appreciate her. Paula just makes me uncomfortable. Uh, I don't know. I believe that there is a purpose in a lot of things and a meaning for everything, but Peaches is not one of those cases. I love Peanut. I think she's so cute. I secretly ship her and Filbert so much. Pecan is adorable. She does look intimidating, but I like her coloring, her pattern, whatever. The only thing is I don't know why her eyes are like slanted, like her eyelids close and open like that instead of... You know what I mean. Peck deserves disrespect. Peewee is my favorite gorilla. He is definitely a friend of mine. I have him on my island. I love him. You know, as much as the gorillas get a lot of slack, I think he is one of the good ones. Peggy is okay. Definitely could do without the hair. Kind of has like an almost Karen haircut, but she looks like one of the good Karens, you know? Pico is my favorite cub. I even like her more than I like Judy, but I guess it's because I don't have that nostalgic connection with Judy. The only thing is that Pico kind of looks human, which makes me feel a little bit weird. People definitely simp for Pico. Penelope is one of the good mice. I think it's cool that her ears are bows, but at the same time, if they're actually bows, like, can she hear? Is she deaf? Phil looks like he's always up to no good. He looks like a, a super villain. I like his color. I just don't like the red. Like the indigo. Phoebe, I think, is super cool. She's supposed to be like a phoenix. I saw her when I was island hunting. She's another one that could redeem the name of the Uchi villagers. Also, her house is really cool. Pierce is an eagle that I don't really like all too much, but I don't hate him. He's alright. I hate clowns. But Pietro is an exception for me. I had him on my island for probably less than a week or like just like a week. I really liked him being there. He's really cute. He's really nice and sweet even though you know you would think the smug villagers are very full of themselves. You know he wasn't that arrogant. I ended up selling him because he wasn't one that I wanted to hold on so badly to. Peewee replaced him because I couldn't get Ursula to leave. I kept resetting the game every time Peewee would tell me who was going to leave because he was in that campsite. It would never be Ursula. So Pietro came up twice, so just figured I'd get a lot of money for him, which I did. It was a good experience having him for the little time that I did. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Pinky. She's cute. She's a, a panda. There's only, I think there's only three 
pandas, Stinky, Chow, and somebody else. But anyways, I think she's cute. I wouldn't want her on my island because of the whole peppy overload thing. You know, maybe if she had a different personality type, I would because I think she's really cute. She's not as cute as Ursula when it comes to the whole bear species. Although Piper has a very mischievous look to her face, I think she's really cute. She is a plain bird. Maybe she's a dove. I like her shirt and New Horizons. If you hear any noise, my mom is blending things in the blender. She's making a cake right now. And, you know, I'm just gonna let her live her life, you know what I mean? We're, we're just gonna have to deal with it for now. Pippi is... Mm, if we don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, right? Plucky is a cool hen. I like her little hair. I like her color, you know, compared to some of the other chickens. She's alright. Pom Pom is pretty. I like her. I like her little <laughs> pixie cut. Plain duck. Poncho is so cute. He's another plain villager. He's a cub. For some reason, I like the the jock villagers that are smaller because it's like really funny that we think they're very muscular and, and fit and things like that and they're small little babies. Um, his room is kind of weird though. He has a bunch of bunk beds in it. Almost like it's like a barrack or something. I don't even know but I like his, the fact that he's navy blue. Navy blue is one of my favorite colors so he had some extra points with me. Poppy is one of the more popular female squirrel villagers. I think she's adorable. I don't think there's anything wrong with her. I like her color, how it's that um, almost brick reddish. And her eyes kind of look like Pac-Man. Like the stripe on her tails kind of looks like frosting. Like her tails like a cupcake or something. And suddenly I want red velvet. Portia is a Dalmatian. Her eyes don't, they don't like sit well with me, you know what I mean? I feel like I don't know what it is about them. You just make me a little bit uneasy. Prince definitely lip syncs to songs on TikTok and I think Puck is adorable. How he wears his little helmet and I guess he's supposed to be like a hockey player. I love hockey. Go Devils, am I right? Something that I'm noticing is that it seems there's more male frog villagers and female frog villagers. Puddles is pretty cool. She does look like she's wearing underwear on her face and stuff like that. I like her catchphrase and I like the fact she's pink. Pudge is absolutely adorable. I love him. I love his squiggly mouth and his bangs and his uneasiness. I mean, I don't love the fact that he looks like he's worried. I wouldn't want that on, uh, to inflict that on him or want him to be going through a hard time, but I just think he looks cute when he's doing it. And his sketch phrase is pudgy, because he's a little pudgy cub. It makes sense. Oh my god, I just want to squish him. Punchy is top of the list right now. He is a dreamy. He's absolutely stunning. Dare I say I like him more than Raymond. Don't fight me, everyone. Okay, I wouldn't mind having Raymond on my island, but I'm saying Punchy has been here for me for a while. I love him. He used to be my favorite cat before I knew about Mary. He is just phenomenal. He reminds me of my cat, you know, with the whole color blocking thing. My cat is black and white. He's like a tuxedo cat, so Punchy kind of reminds me of that. Pearl. I encountered her in the campsite. She's the first cat villager I think I saw. I wanted her to kick some people out, but she kept saying that the wrong villager wanted to move. I just gave up. But she's a calico cat. I think she's really adorable. Although Queenie is cute, I like the little hairs. It kind of reminds me of like back then when people get frosted tips and they would have to put their hair through those caps. She really reminds me of those girls that show up to like basement shows and have no idea about the artists. Just goes there to take edgy pictures to like make people think she's cool on Instagram. As long as she's not hurting anybody, I guess, just leave her be. Wilson looks like he's about to throw up. Anyone could get him some Pepto-Bismol right now? Please do, I would appreciate it. Rattle's design is very relevant considering what is going on in the world right now. He's really cute. I like the fact that he is a little doctor. I just don't like the fact that his name is Rattle when your lungs rattle, when you're coughing really hard. It makes me feel bad for him if he's sick or something. Rasher was definitely the kid that punched holes in his wall whenever he didn't get to spend 30 extra minutes on the Xbox. He definitely looks like he plays Xbox.
Ah, yes. Raymond. Everybody and their entire lineage is looking for Raymond. I know so many people who spent so many Nook Mile tickets looking for him. And then some people who got him in their campsite or got him in one or two tickets. He's really cool though. I like how he has heterochromia. I like his little outfit and his pattern. Again, he's a cat so he can't go wrong. I like his house. I've seen him in a recreation of that episode of The Office, like the scene where Jim is impersonating Dwight. It was really cute. I liked it. I would like to have him on my island. Obviously, he's very popular and he does have the little teeth like Mary does. So maybe him and Mary could go on their merry way, you know what I mean? I don't know what is it with the Renees in this game, but I feel bad if your name is Renee because these... The, she, she's not giving me a good rap. I don't have anything to say about her. Stupid! I'm not gonna let you get the chance! I do not even want to mention her name. If you have her, good for you. If you like her, cool. But she gave me too much of a hard time to move. And she was bullying Apple and bullying my other villagers. And I do not appreciate that. It's okay to be an older sister and to watch out for people. But you have to do it from a place of love. And she was not doing that. I, I'm not about cancel culture at all. I think that, you know, people can learn from their mistakes and educate themselves, but she is definitely not one of them. We do not talk about her here anymore. I feel like Rex is the most realistic lion. He is pretty chill looking. His phrase is cool cat. I think that's cute. Why? Ribot is cool. He's a robot. He's a jock. I, th I think he's really cool. I wouldn't want him on my island, but I think he's cool. Ricky, I guess it's like he could, he's a perfect match for Hazel. Except he does look like he would be a little bit toxic, you know. Rizzo, ugh. Oh my god, I love Rolled so much. Oh my god, I have to find a pose. There's a pose that's like, Rolled dreams of flight, and he's looking at a butterfly flying. He's so derpy, but the fact that he's a jock villager is really cute. I like Robin. She looks kind of like a tomboy, and I dig it. Rocco, uh, I'm kind of scared of him. He looks like a bully, and he needs to be suspended from school. Rocket looks like she wears fake tan and wears really, really light lipstick like the girls in like the TikToks. Okay, it's like satire, like people making fun of English girls. Rod was my first ever campsite villager. There's nothing really good about him besides that he's cute. Rodeo, I've seen him way too many times on my island hopping adventures and every single time I have to pray. He needs some milk! The man, the myth, the legend, Rodney. I mentioned in my last video that he is one of the blurst villagers. Because even though you will look at him and think that he's cursed, I think he's kind of cute. And again, I want us to have multiple islands so badly so I can have a full hamster island. I'll defend him against the haters because even though it looks like he needs some proactive or something on his face, I think he's cute. Even though he does also look like his farts really stink. Rolf is my favorite tiger because he's a white tiger and white tigers are my favorite animals of all time and they're endangered so you know rolf means a lot rooney um looks like he boxes or something and i don't condone violence so please seize yourself call me kevin has rory on his island and tries to get all the other villagers to bully him i don't condone bullying but in this case i'll let it slide roscoe i used to have the same feelings that i did about rodeo where I would be very scared that I was going to get possessed just by talking to him. But honestly, he just looks like he's misunderstood, you know? I think he's pretty cool. He's like a- he's like an e-boy almost. Rosie. I feel like she is the most famous cat, like before Raymond. What can I say? She's like a pop star celebrity. She's really cute. I love her blue color. Again, this is why we don't need Mo because her and Tom are blue. Um, Rowan is pretty cute. He's like a, he looks like Tony the Tiger. I don't really like Frosted Flakes all that much. Ruby is like an albino rabbit. Kind of people use for animal studies in clinical trials. So I kind of feel bad for her. She is kind of creepy though, so. Rudy. You know, he doesn't look too much- if he didn't have the pointy ears, he wouldn't look too much like a cat. I don't know what it is about him. I think he's cute. He kind of has that whole, you know, vintage cartoon vibe to him, which I can appreciate. Those are my thoughts about the villagers, starting with letter J to R. I will continue on with S and on in my next video, because I don't want to make these too long. Thank you for watching. If you stuck through this whole video and if you watched the previous one, thank you so much. Um, I think this is so fun to make. You know, I feel like I like making these videos because I love talking about Animal Crossing and I feel like I'm annoying 
the heck out of everybody I know who doesn't play and even the people who do play. So it's good to talk to people from the community about this. Let me know if you like this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Obviously, I think, I guess that's how things work. And let me know if you want to see the next one. Regardless of what you say, I'm probably going to make it anyway. I'm going to go because I turned off the fan while filming this and it is really hot in my room. Peace. Oh.